Hi there, David here once more on behalf of Being Crypto. Today, we're again going to be doing a dive on another form of crypto mining. Although many are beginning to turn their eyes towards various staking protocols, there are still numerous tokens and coins which can be mined. Grin just happens to be one of those cryptocurrencies, and in fact, anybody can start mining today. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know to get going. We'll touch on what Grin is, what you're going to need, and the actual steps you'll want to take. Keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own research and make your own decisions. With that said, what are we waiting for? Let's get right into talking about Mining Grin. Grin is designed as a minimalist and lightweight cryptocurrency with a privacy focus. It offers powerful features and enables anonymous peer-to-peer -peer financial transfers. There's no single foundation or entity behind Grin as the network is a community-driven platform and fully open source. Like some other projects, anyone can contribute development as a volunteer, but the only way to get funding is via donations. Now, some things that make Grin unique. First, Grin utilizes the Mimblewimble protocol, which offers privacy and scalability benefits. The protocol allows the Grin blockchain to have a compact transaction history, thus making it faster when it comes to being downloaded, synchronized, or verified. Next, Grin doesn't use addresses and doesn't store data about the amounts being transferred. Instead, transactions occur by transferring files, and the network sees no information about their contents. New blocks are generated every 60 seconds, and each has a mining reward of 60 Grin. Hence, the blockchain is designed to generate 1 Grin per second forever. This makes it an inflationary asset, though the rate of inflation will continue to decrease indefinitely. Still, this reward process is important as it enables long-term blockchain security and ensures fair distribution to all participants. Since we're talking about mining it, it should come as no surprise that Grin uses a proof-of-work consensus mechanism. Actually, it uses two, both variations on a protocol called Cuckoo Cycle that are known as Cuckoo32 Plus and Cuckoo29. This consensus mechanism uses memory instead of computing power to validate the network and mine new coins. Using two versions of Cuckoo Cycle allows miners to use most devices for Grin mining, unlike with Bitcoin, which requires application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs, in order to mine effectively. One of these algorithms allows for more efficient GPU mining, and the other one is designed for ASICs so that both types of hardware can be used. Lastly, before we get into mining, let's touch on Grin's tokenomics. As of when this video was written, Grin's price was at about 15 cents, and the market capitalization of the asset was at about $15 million. The all-time high price that Grin has ever seen was a little after its launch in January of 2019, coming in around $13, though it has struggled to get back towards this price level ever since. Great, now let's get prepared. Before mining Grin, you need to make sure you have all the components in place. This includes having a Grin wallet, appropriate mining software, and a Grin mining pool. For the wallet, there's an official Grin wallet on the project's website, which is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. However, it is a command line wallet, and the lack of a user interface might scare off those who are not familiar with that environment. We recommend using the Grin++ wallet, which is developed and supported by the Grin community. If you're using your GPU to mine, you'll need at least six gigabytes of video memory on it. You'll also want to be sure to use the Kukuru29 algorithm. If you're using an ASIC, you should use the Kuka2 32 Plus algorithm. Also, when downloading the mining software, make sure to only get it from official sources, and we recommend keeping all the files in a specific folder, as you may need to create an exclusion for that folder within your Windows security. Okay, the first step is to download a Grin wallet and install it on your device. Once that's done, create a new wallet and be absolutely sure to write down and secure your seed phrase. This is what the wallet should look like if you use Grin++. Note that this is a full node wallet, and so it needs to be synchronized with the Grin blockchain. Next, you'll need to choose an available mining pool. You can find most Grin mining pools on miningpoolstats.stream slash Grin, which we'll link below in the comments. After you choose a pool, click on the name, and it'll take you to their website. Know that you'll need the pool's working email address later to configure the mining software. As mentioned, mining software is often seen as malware by Windows security. That's why creating an exclusion on your system may be a necessary step. So, just go to Windows Settings, then to Update and Security, then Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, and then click on Manage Settings, and scroll down to Add or Remove Exclusions. Click on Add an Exclusion and add the folder where you want to download and install the mining software. You'll be prompted to accept the security warning from Windows, and once done, you should be good to go on this front. Now let's get to the actual software. There are three mining software options you can choose from, depending on the type of equipment you'll be using for mining Grin. There's Gminer, which has a 2% developer fee and is recommended for NVIDIA GPUs. Also Lolminer, similar to Gminer, but recommended for AMD GPUs. Lastly, Grin Gold Miner also has a 2% developer fee and supports NVIDIA 6GB cards as well as AMD 8GB cards. For today, we'll be demonstrating with the Lolminer software. 
go ahead and download the latest Lowell Miner version, which we'll link to below. Remember, it's important to download the software into the same folder where you added an exclusion in your security settings. Now, let's set it up. Go to the folder where you downloaded the package and extract it. Go to Lowell Miner, find the folder labeled with the latest release, which at the time of this video was 1.46a, and find the Miner Grin 32 bat file. Right click and open the file with Notepad. You'll need to edit the file and enter the correct mining pool email address as well as your own personal email so you can get paid. Now simply save the file and exit. Great. Now you're ready to start mining Grin. Double click on the Miner Grin 32 bat file that you just edited to execute the file. The result should look something like this. From here, the software should do all of the work. You'll receive Grin rewards for mining as soon as the mining pool starts distributing them. Some mining pools offer the option to check on their website to track the start and all payouts for a specific address. And now you should be good to go. Of course, there's some variables along the way depending on your exact setup and needs, and we couldn't cover all of the possibilities, but we'll link some more info and options down in the description so you can troubleshoot if this video didn't cover a specific question you have. By the way, maybe you don't want to mine. Maybe you just want to buy some crypto. If that's the case, then why not get it on the Stormgain cryptocurrency exchange? Stormgain is not only one of the hottest up and coming exchanges out there, it also offers several valuable perks such as a loyalty program, bonuses for referrals, annual interest on crypto deposits, and using the official app you can even begin cloud mining cryptocurrency for free today. If you're looking to purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, stablecoins, or an array of other cryptocurrencies, just know that Stormgain offers a little bit more than most other exchanges, so be sure to check them out. Well, that does it for our basic grin overview and mining guide. Again, we couldn't cover it all, and there's a ton more to know about mining Grin and using Grin. We fully encourage you to keep doing more research on this fascinating asset. Furthermore, as we all know, there's changes happening all the time in the world of cryptocurrency, and you're going to want to keep up. So why not check us out at beingcrypto.com, where you'll find daily updates, analysis, and more. Also, don't forget about our other content right here on YouTube, such as interviews, educational videos, and our bi-weekly news show. And lastly, if trading is your thing, then come join our trading community on Telegram, where you'll get access to the latest technical analysis from our top traders. As always, thanks to everybody out there watching, and we'll see you all right here again real soon.